Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing another loaf chopping video. Today I am doing super tarts and VCS. So I'm doing, let's see, this one, which is Annabelle, which is brown sugar pecans, pie crust, a blackberry, and marshmallow fluff. So I'm gonna give this another go. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see everything okay. This one was just in the microwave for a couple seconds, so, because I know super tarts is a little bit you know, have like a uh, harder wax. So I noticed in my last video, I was cutting the pieces way too thinly. And I think that's why I was having such a hard time and why it came out so messy. So I'm gonna do things a little bit thicker today and hope I can get some decent chunks out of it. So really today, what I wanted to talk about was like restocks that have been going on, some things that I've seen, uh, the, ready to ship restock for Rose Girls was this morning. Um, it was 10 a.m. my time. I don't know what time it was in your guys' area, how early you had to get up or how late it was. Um, but I went in and I don't make lists when I'm doing a ready to ship order because the reason for that is because since it all is ready to ship, I feel like if I make, let me show you guys can see, okay. I feel like if I make a list, I'm just gonna end up disappointed because I'm not gonna get everything on my list. Like it's rare that I get everything that I want. Like it's really rare. So I go in now making a list. I kind of skim what's gonna happen or like what she's restocking and then I kind of just, you know, do my best and hope I get some good stuff. So I went in. And it was actually pretty easy. Uh, she had a lot of stuff today. Actually, like she had a real lot of stuff. Sorry, my phone's going off. I hope you guys can't hear that. But she had a, like a really good amount of stuff that she was restocking. So I was like, okay, this is really cool. So she had Halloween sampler. She had a mint sampler. She had a, um, what was the other one? The Lush dupe sampler. So she had like a lot of good stuff. And I got a bunch of muffins. And I think I got one mini melter. It was mostly just muffins because that's what I really wanted. So I actually did, you know, really good. I was able to go in twice. I was able to go in once and um, get the stuff that I really wanted. And I checked out. There was only one thing that got hijacked is what I like to call it. Oh, it smells so good. Um, there was only one thing that ended up getting hijacked from me. But that's okay because I have, it was the Americana Smoothie vanilla crunch donuts muffin, but I have an Americana smoothie scoopable from scoopable tart wax and I have, um, what was it? I don't, I don't have the vanilla crunch donuts mini melters, but I can always get them. I'm pretty sure it's part of her staple thing. So when the mini melters come back up, I can just grab a bag and that, that would be fine. I do have marshmallow smoothie in the, what's it called? in the mini melters and I also have um, blackberry jam butter cookies so you know it works out fine for me that doesn't bother me at all but honestly what I really came on here to talk about is the people that I see and it's not even like really just today because today was a pretty tame day if you ask me I think that came out okay I think that's pretty good um, today was a pretty calm day like I'll just say it that way but um, some other restocks that I've been seeing, it's just, like, let me make something really clear to you guys. Vendors work their asses off. Like, I'm just going to be real right now. Like, you know as well as I do that vendors work really, really hard. And I think people fail to understand that when you're posting something in a group page that belongs to the vendor, this is the next one I'm going to do. This is uh, from VCS, Aunt Lori's Famous Rolls, which is uh, strawberry jam and fresh baked bread. I'm going to go pop this in the microwave. But um, when you post something like that on a vendor's page in a group setting, they see it. And when you're complaining that you didn't get what you wanted or you're upset or you're never going to order again, give me one second. what you wanted you're never gonna order again they see that and I'm sure a lot of vendors take that to heart 
and they're humans. Like, there's a human on the other side of this computer that's trying their best to make you happy. And she restocked so much stuff, so many muffins. I think I got like 11 different scents and muffins. I got a mini melter bag. I've seen people that had the Halloween sampler, the Lush, the Mint. There are so many muffins, so many mini melters, so many chunk bags. She made loaves, she made pies. And it's crazy to me that people are still complaining. You know what I mean? Like wax is not a necessity, first of all. I mean, it's not like it's food and water and you're never going to get it again. You know, it's an it's not a necessity. It's a luxury. So, honestly, when I go in and I don't get something that I want, instead of complaining, I'm like, look, you have a lot. You probably have more than other people do. And there's been a bunch of people I know that have more than me. So, it's kind of like a count your blessings kind of deal. I don't think it's that serious. And, like, it just bugs me honestly when I see people getting so up in arms about it and like it makes it just like an, an uncomfortable setting like I understand being upset or like if you're talking to your friends on the group page and like you comment on their order and you make a joke because I've done that before it's like oh you stole what I wanted ha 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 but you know in a joking type of way but there's a fine line between joking and complaining <laughs> And maybe I sound petty because I'm not a vendor, so I shouldn't be the one complaining about this kind of stuff, but it's honestly just really crazy to me because these vendors try so hard to get what we want, give us what we want, I mean, and it just, it's sad really to know that as hard as you work, you're, you're still going to get criticized over really petty things, I feel, and I don't know, oh man, that sucks. Um, I really can't wait for my new wax cutter to come in. I am so sick of this one. <laughs> I don't like it. But yeah, so I feel like that's really one I wanted to talk about, which is why I did a loaf chopping video so I can more so vent for myself. And it's not like I'm calling anyone out, you know, because like especially people on this channel, you guys have always been so nice and so sweet and, you know, encourage me and you take the time out of your day to watch my videos so like I don't want to sound like a really big complainer but it's like uh, I don't know it's just one of those things like it's just one of my pet peeves that I see a lot in the wax community and I meant to do like an entire video on my pet peeves which I probably will just because of things like this I don't know. It, like, have you guys seen that? Like, do you know what I'm talking about? Do you think I'm being overdramatic? <laughs> I feel like I might be, uh, like, a bit overdramatic when I talk about this kind of stuff. But it's, like, a thing because, like, I'm friends with vendors. And the last thing that I want to see is, like, you know, seeing our friends' feelings get hurt because customers are being petty. And they want what they want and they want it now. And then they get mad when they can't have it or they complain about the times. Like, I understand that. I mean, like, the time zone, I kind of understand because I do realize that there, you know, we don't all live in the same time zone. So I understand that you guys, like, some of you have to get up really, really early to get these restocks. Or you have to stay up late at night in order to get the restocks. And we have kids, we have jobs, we have husbands, we have things that we need to get done. So obviously, like, you know, sometimes even for me, sitting on the computer or on my phone all day, it's just, it's not an option, you know? Like, I just moved, I have a boyfriend, I have a son... And, you know, between that and working and everything else, like, obviously, we, we don't always have time. Like, I've missed plenty of restocks because I had to, you know, work or I've had to, or I was busy with my son or I was out on a date with my boyfriend. You know what I mean? So, like, I do understand it. I get the, like, I, I get it. I feel like I'm just rambling now. But... Seeing com people complain over really stupid things is what honestly gets to me. Like, I do understand more so about the time zone issue because, obviously, you know, you have things to do. You can't stay on the computer all day, and it is kind of upsetting when you miss a restock because of the time. So I understand more about that kind of stuff, but to really make up your own post on a vendor's page just to say, I'm never ordering again, you know, just keep it to yourself. You know, like, I understand being upset. There's things that I've missed out on. There's been things that my friends have missed out on, but 
it's not the end of the world. <laughs> it's not a life or death situation. And maybe I sound like, you know, really bitchy saying something like that, but it just bothers me. I don't know. It's just one of those things, I guess. Just one of those really big pet peeves that I cannot stand. And I think I've mentioned this in another girl's love chopping video when she asked us about our pet peeves. I'm pretty sure I said that. It's because it gets to me so much. I don't know why I let it bother me so much because I'm not a vendor. And I have no desire to be a vendor. But, I don't know. One of those things, I guess. My hands are getting so filthy. But this, I will say, I'm doing a lot better than I did the last loaf chopping video. <laughs> These are actually pieces that I can, like, individually take out and use. This wax is really sticky, though. I never, really, like, really noticed how sticky her wax is. I like it, though, because it makes it really easy to cut. It's just that it sticks to the blade. But that's probably my own fault because I still don't have a normal, like, wax slash soap cutter. So I'm sure if it was, like, a normal one, it would be fine. It smells so good. You guys all know that fresh baked bread and strawberry jam is like my fave. So I'm really, really happy. I actually found this in a D stash. I think I did a haul on it. Um, and she was getting rid of like so many loaves. It's kind of crazy how much people are getting rid of these days. But I know a lot of it has to do with like sometimes I'll do D stashes if I just want more money for a wax. Honestly, like I feel like I can be honest on this channel. There have been many times where I've sold stuff that I know that other people would like, but I can live without in order to get something that I really want. I think that's a normal thing to do. I feel like a lot of people have done that in the past, where it's like, I'll get rid of this so I can get this, even though I do like it. There was a lot of things in the, um, yeah, I was going to say. I had a thought in my head, and then I forgot about it. I need to get a paper towel. Oh, goodness. Yeah, today's just one of those days. My brain just hasn't been working. I'm pretty sure I said that in my last loaf chopping video. I haven't been able to create a full sentence in, like, three weeks. So, but anyway, for those of you that did do the Rose Girls restock, um, did you get what you want? Did you not? Did you have fun? Was it frustrating? Did things get hijacked? Because two of my things got hijacked. I really wanted the Americana Smoothie Vanilla Crunch Donuts Muffin. And I had one in my cart, but it was taken, which kind of stinks. Also, can I just say for another pet peeve of mine is that when everybody goes in knowing what's going to go first. Like, we all knew that the, vanilla, the Americana Smoothie Muffins were going to go first. Like, we knew that. Because everybody got a sample of it. Or I think a lot of people got a sample of it if you did the pre-order. And everybody kind of just fell in love with it. And um, we kind of knew that that was going to go first. But then, you know, I'm sure there, like, I haven't seen anyone do this. So I'm not accusing anybody. I'm not mad at anybody. But I'm sure there was a couple of people who bought, like, three or four of them. Which is kind of a pet peeve of mine. Because it's like, you know, so many people wanted that one. And I do go in restocks, like, trying my best to just get one or two of whatever I want to if I really, really love it. Because I know there's other people that want it and I want to give other people a chance because, you know, not everybody can order every single restock. Like, you know, it's just kind of like common sense wax etiquette. But, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not throwing shade at anybody. I just feel like it's one of those things where you should really kind of like think before you buy 10 of one cent. Which is why I really like candles from the keeping rooms rules because she only lets you get two bags of one cent. So that way other people get a chance, which I think is really nice of her. Because, like, I know some people don't agree with it. I know some people get mad at that rule. But it gives other people a, a chance, you know. Like, if you're, if you're going in for, you know, three bags of, of three different scents that you really want. And you didn't get any of them because someone in front of you ordered ten of the same one. It's frustrating. So, and that's another pet peeve of mine. I mean, it kind of just, it sucks. So, here's what that one looks like. I think I did a good job. I think that one's okay. Smells so good. I didn't realize that there was like, it was two-toned. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there, it's pink and purple, my two favorite colors. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna do another video just on pet peeves. So give me a thumbs up if you wanna see that video of me complaining. <laughs> oh yeah, but that was just, that, that, honestly, that's just what was on my mind today. It's just 
not even really today, it's just stuff in general, but someone had mentioned it in another group that I was in about people complaining, and it kind of just made me think of it. So, if you're buying something from a ready to ship and you weren't able to order or everything went too fast or whatever, just like mind your words when you go into the group. Like, just like be careful of what you say because honestly, things do come off different online, obviously, because you can't hear someone's tone of voice when you're online. So, some people might take it the wrong way if you go in and say, Oh my god, like. I didn't get this and blah, 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 blah. Even if you're trying to be playful about it, some people will take it the wrong way. And also, just be mindful of what you're saying. Like, if you're going to sit there and say, I'm never ordering again, that's not something that you need to tell the vendor because it makes them feel bad after all the hard work that they did. It makes other customers feel uncomfortable. And then, you know, there's people that are going to call you out on it. And that's just how it is. Like, there's been so many pre-orders and stuff and, like, she, po she made so many, so many different things and scents and shapes for today's restock. So it's like if I was a vendor and I just did all of that hard work and I still had customers coming in telling me that they're never going to order from me again, like that would make me feel like horrible. That would make me feel like crap. And I'm sure it would make any decent human being feel like crap. Like I have a really thick skin. People can say whatever they want to me. It's words, you know, whatever. But not everybody has a thick skin. So just, like, really be mindful of some of the things that you're saying. And I think really that's about it for this video. But I am going to post another one of my pet peeves. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. And if you guys have any pet peeves or if you guys see anything that really make you mad in the wax community, then let me know and we can have a discussion on it. I, you can keep it anonymous. You can message me or you can comment here. You can message me on Instagram or Facebook. doesn't really matter to me. Just so I have more content for the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.